Welcome back to another episode of Dusty the Airstream Trailer Renovation Restoration. In this very quick episode, we're going to be talking about a rivet removal tool. Now this rivet removal tool you can find over at airpartsinc.com. I will link the actual link directly to this tool in the description. So go ahead and check it out. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about how this tool works. This tool is just exactly like you see it. It comes disassembled which is only two ends that thread into the actual body of this tool. So we'll go ahead and unthread both of those real quick just to show you it's three pieces. You will receive three different bits that come with it. I want to say it's a 1 8 which is what this one is right here, a 5 30 seconds and a 3 16 Those bits thread into this base right here, tighten it down nice and flush, and then you will go ahead and just put it into the outer casing and thread that bottom washer until it's flush. Once it's there, we would then go ahead and put our guide for our 1 8. So they come with three of these. So make sure you have the proper one. And then we would then thread this all the way in. The way that this works is that this presses up, it engages the bit to come out of the guide right there. And the idea is to take a rivet and we're only removing the head, not the shank. So what we're looking for is the bit to come just to the top edge or bottom edge, I should say, with this rivet. Obviously, if you can see if that camera captures that, it sits way above it. So we need to bring this up a little bit until we just have enough, which right there is just about perfect. So once we're there, we would then take this washer. Whoops, go back there real quick. Tighten that down so it stays in place. Double check our position, which is perfect. Now you'll see this little rounded off in the front of the guide and that's so that the head of the rivet sits flush and just perfect like that. So as you press to go in to drill the head out, it then comes up just enough to take the head out obviously, and then it removes it from there. This end goes into the drill itself just like this you would tighten down on the chuck of your drill and then you can actually hold the exterior of the casing of this tool and it's not going to rotate so just hold it put it nice and flush to the exterior of the rivet and then you're going to press forward on the drill which will then engage the bit just to come out enough to remove the head of it once the head's removed you spin it off take a punch punch it through and you won't oblong the hole you will save a lot of time and energy and a lot of scratch marks against the exterior panels of your trailer. So let's go ahead and go outside real quick. I will show you real quickly on drilling one of those rivets out so you can see just how quickly it goes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find the rivet head, put that right on there just like that, and then You can see it starts to drill the, the head of it. And as we get to that depth, you'll see the head come right off, just like that. Head just fell. And so that is completely flush right there and I could just punch that out. All right guys, so there's the head of the rivet that's removed, as you can see. Just enough to take it off. See how nice and thin it is. So that's pretty much it. To remove it, you can see right here, nice and flush. 